at Highland Hill Farm, we do a lot of bartering. Bartering isn't just to make money, it's to also develop contacts. It's important to have contacts. What we will do is if you have something that's surplus to your needs, we'll try and barter it for our surplus trees that we have. We'll look at anything that you want to do. We just don't need tattoos or uh, you know things such as that or sex toys. But at any rate, we barter a lot of items, so whether it's a used furnace, windows, doors, uh, you can, if you have fossils, meteorites, minerals, uh, arrowheads, if you have used uh, equipment, tools, building materials, plumbing materials, plumbing supplies, electrical supplies, old furnaces that you want to get rid of, uh, just, you know, it's almost unlimited what we could use here on the farm, and we always like to try and barter. If you have steel, like angle iron, re-rod, channel iron, I-beams. We can use all those ki kinds of things. So if you have some surplus you want to get rid of, this might be a great way to get rid of it. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you very much. Bye. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is Michael Hurst. He is the uh, chief propagator here, here at the Highland Hill Farm. And he's going to tell you about the foliage of the Blue Rug Juniper. Alright, well that's the Blue Rug Juniper. You can see it. It's got a nice lush green new growth on it. It's kind of more bluish. As the rain goes through the winter, it turns a uh, darker green color. So you can tell what time of year it is by just looking at the tree. It doesn't get too tall, it's more of a smaller one when it grows. It does get a little bit of height, maybe six, eight inches at max. It's known for growing down walls, and you can see it growing down areas of your yard where you don't want to mow, you just put a whole bunch of this in and you won't have to mow it again. It's um, relatively hardy, it's supposed to go in dry areas, well it's, it can take drier areas more or less. And for trimming, most, if you're going to do anything with trimming, you just trim these leaders that come out just to make it a fuller plant. Anything else you shouldn't really touch on. Okay, is it deer resistant? I believe it is deer resistant. I don't think a deer would eat that. Yeah, they don't like that, do they? Nope. And one thing you shouldn't plant when you have a juniper is an apple tree. Because you get the cedar, cedar apple rust. rust. Yeah. So when you're doing your landscape design, just bear that in mind. If you have junipers on your property, stay away from apple trees, and then you'll avoid all the problems of the cedar apple rust. Yep. And so, Michael, uh, you're a graduate. Where did you go to school? I went to the Delaware Valley College. In Four years of program, and I graduated last year. Yep, we have a qualified staff here at Highland Hill Farm. Michael went to Del Valle College and graduated with a degree in horticulture. His brother did the same. His brother graduated with a degree in floriculture. And they do the deliveries and plantings all up and down the East Coast. Tell the tell the YouTube audience uh, where you've been this last week. Oh well, I was forced to go up to Massachusetts. That was like seven hours away. I also went up to Albany this last week. Uh, a couple like two weeks ago, I went down to Virginia. And uh, last was it two weeks ago, I got hoodwinked and going out to Pittsburgh. So I've been all over. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. Our website is seedlingsrus.com, <laughs> and we're here in Fountainville, PA. You can call us at 215-651-8329, or you can uh, just uh, get, come and visit us. We're, our phone number is 215-651-8329 or seedlingsrus.com. Thank you.